Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue on Windows 11 where there was a problem resetting your PC and no changes were made. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to access the troubleshooting menu on this tutorial. And if you're unable to boot the Windows, if you just do a hard power off three times in a row, it should launch your recovery options, in which case then you can access the troubleshooting menu. If you have an external DVD with the Windows 11 ISO file on it, you could boot your computer to it as if you were installing Windows 11 for the first time. And then you could select the repair your computer option on one of the first pages that says install now. There's a little option in the bottom corner that says repair your PC, which will launch the troubleshooting utilities as well. So Microsoft includes these tools in a couple different locations, but assuming you're able to boot the Windows, that's the path that we're going to fall down for this tutorial. So starting right from the normal desktop here, open up the start menu, and then select the power icon. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard while selecting restart. So again, hold down the shift key and then select restart. And give that a moment here. And then you want to select Troubleshoot, Reset your PC or see Advanced Options. Again, underneath the New Troubleshoot window, select Advanced Options. And now that we're underneath Advanced Options, you want to select the tab on the top right that says Command Prompt. Use the Command Prompt for Advanced Troubleshooting. So select that. So at this point, you want to type the letter C on your keyboard, which or whatever your main hard drive would be labeled as, and then colon, and then hit N on your keyboard. Once you're done doing that, type DIR, and then hit Enter again on your keyboard. And the way to make sure that you're underneath the correct directory is when you see something that says Program Files, Program Files, Users, Windows, and Perfect Logs. Now, depending on what your drive label might be, it might not be your C drive, so just try different letters until you get the correct drive. In most cases, it should be the C drive, however. So now, once you've found the correct drive, you want to type CD on your keyboard, then space, then forward slash Windows, forward slash again, System32, another forward slash, and then you want to do config, or actually I should say backslash, but I believe a forward slash would work as well. Once you're done typing this in, you want to hit N on your keyboard. And at this point you want to type in MD, and then space, backup. If you've done something like this in the past, you might have a duplicate um, file here. So just make sure you might put a one on the end of here or two or something to distinguish it from a previous backup because you don't want to overwrite another one you might have already saved. So once you're done typing that in, you're going to hit enter on your keyboard again. So at this point, now you're going to type in copy, space, now you're going to do a little star, dot, and then another star, another space, and now you're going to type backup, and then hit enter on your keyboard again. Now what you want to do is type CD, space, reg, R-E-G, and then type back, B-A-C-K, and then hit enter on your keyboard. Now you want to type D-I-R again, all lowercase doesn't really matter, but I'm going to do all lowercase and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard again. Now, please note in my case, I have all zeros next to these entries. Um, if it says zero next to your entries, then this will not work for you if you continue forward, so stop here. Um, I would recommend going through System Restore or Starter Prepare and trying to resolve Windows through that. However, due to my computer's environment, I only have zeros here. But if you guys have values that are not equal to zero, there should be really long strings of numbers next to all of these settings on the left side. So just look in here. Um, if, if you see all zeros, then like I said, go through System Restore. If not, if you guys do have numbers, 
it should be several million number place values and quite a few of these. Instead, you're going to type in copy space star dot star another space and then two dots back to back and then hit enter on your keyboard when it says overwrite type the letter A on your keyboard and then hit enter and then at this point you can type exit and before I hit enter on my keyboard like I said before um, most of you guys should not have zeros here but if you do this method will not work for you I'm just gonna make that exceptionally clear so anyway we have exit typed in here so I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard to confirm that command and then underneath choose an option I'm gonna select continue um, exit and continue So hopefully this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.